Damn, man. It looks like all these rap niggas are cutting ties with themselves. Ye say, bitch, you costing us money. You gotta go, Kanye. Noriega said, Nori, why you take the interview down? You getting soft. I'm out. Dipset still wanna jump Jada, so Kiss got the fuck on down. Marquise got Curtis Jackson hiding from 50 Cent. I think he owe him money. I don't know who he is, but he cutting ties with himself, though. Enrico got Jeffrey the way he only wanna be young thug. Thank the glow, real hallelujah. Lil Duval ain't lil no more. And Zay, yeah, man, he cutting ties with news dealer, taking up too much of his damn time. Oh, man, in other news, we got a little bit to talk about today. So what looks like a former Philadelphia sheriff deputy is arrested and charged with trafficking firearms after selling guns to an FBI informant. But there's more. Federal authorities traced the two guns and found they were used in the deadly Roxborough High School shooting that killed a 14-year-old boy and injured four others. So it looks like OG Shaka Khan says that artists who use auto-tune should be working at the post office instead of being in the studio. Bah, shots fired. So it looks like Germany takes the big W. They plan to legalize the good smoke. <laughs> Man, look, a family goes viral for making their child wear a BBL costume for Halloween. Have y'all seen it? What the fuck is we doing? Yeah. Yeah, folks weren't too happy about this one. Boy, ain't no way, boy. Hold on, man. I forgot to put my specs on. All right. So it looks like our girl Lala Anthony says she'll never get married again or date another basketball player. Melo, you fucked it up. The Capitol rioter who dragged the officer into the mob is sentenced to more than seven years in prison. This is sad. Four teens, including a young mother, are killed in a crash while allegedly participating in the TikTok Kia challenge. Y'all cut the challenge shit out, man. And this is so crazy, this happened today. But it looks like at least 120 people are dead and over 100 injured after a crowd surge during the Halloween festivities in South Korea, man. Prayers up to everybody out there. And boy, this couldn't have been me. But it looks like a mother has a breakdown after her son spent two bands of her rent money on Fashion Nova and Sheen for his girlfriend. Have y'all heard it? My son sit up here and literally took $2,000 off my fucking credit card. That's my rent money. That's everything. Well, damn. Mommy, you really took some money off my card to go sit up there and do some shit for a, a, a little ass girl? It's an evil world we live in. My mama would have cremated my black ass. Yes, sir. Happy birthday and belated birthday to the beautiful Mrs. Gabrielle Union, the beautiful Mrs. Tracy Ellis Ross, our boy Randy Jackson, he looks more like Michael than anybody to me, the beautiful Mrs. Telma Hopkins, the beautiful funny Mrs. Cheryl Underwood, and our girl, the beautiful Mrs. Julia Roberts. Yes, sir. This same day yesterday in 1997, our boy Mace debuts with the classic album Harlem World. This same day here yesterday in 2016, our boy Jeezy fed the streets with Trap or Die 3. It's all there. This same day here in 91, our boy Ice Cube released his death certificate. And on this same day here in 2019, man, OG actor, comedian, our boy John Witherspoon passes away, man. May OG continue to rest in peace. I'll knock you upside your head with a left hook, make your ass wake up and take out that damn trash. Boy, it's so nasty and down bad for this. But an Oklahoma City man is accused of knowingly spreading HIV after being diagnosed in 2019. I'm celibate. Boy, this teacher better pray them parents don't never catch his ass. But it looks like a middle school substitute teacher's arrested after punching a student in the face and breaking his finger. Damn, man. Sucks for her, bro. But it looks like Ice Spice responded to a viral post calling her probably the worst female rapper in history. This was her response. Damn, since it seemed like folks ain't feeling Ice Spice, is she the munch? So it looks like a Vegas woman, too pretty for jail, is hit with a murder charge, man. What's that bell looking like? Your folk down there at Louis Vuitton are honoring the late great Virgil Abloh with re-releases of key pieces from the archive. Still gonna make money off them, huh? And you know it wouldn't be right this year if I didn't talk about them, but it looks like Goodwill will reportedly remove and no longer accept donations of Yeezy products. First off, what fucking Goodwill had Yeezy? Not mine. And that boy Ye says, I know how it feels to have a knee on my neck now. Thank you, God, for humbling me. I know how it feels to have a knee on my neck now. Uh, that wasn't a good example, my boy. Boozy called him out for not apologizing to the black community, though. This nigga gonna apologize to the Jewish community. But don't say shit to the black community. You a clown, dog. I hurt the black people, so I want to apologize. 
Yes, sir. Tonight's weather, Tulsa, Oklahoma. Shouts out to y'all, man. Y'all 64, but y'all cloudy. And Chi-Town, what's up to y'all, baby? Y'all 55 degrees, but y'all clear, homie. And happy belated birthday to my girl, Solar Bear Green out there, man. My bad for not shouting you out. I'm not a liar. I'm just really forgetful. To say, family, if you picking up what I'm putting down, make sure to also follow me on YouTube and Instagram, at News with Zay. Help me run them numbers up. And if you want me to shout you out in the weather report, it's easy. Drop them shits in the comments, and you know I'm going to take care of you. I'm going to try to remember as best I can. But until next time, I'm going to holler at y'all, man.